So, so, uh, what, what? It, TU-14 is out. What's going on guys, Kurobe here on a Minecraft Let's Play video. My this guy waked me up to say that T14 is here, but here's your reward. Sir, sir, I don't want diamonds. Sir, come back. I don't want it. Okay, we're gonna just leave him in there. Okay. T14 is out. High five, dude. Okay. Um, so yeah, first of all, we have flower pots, which can hold. It can hold all flowers, all saplings, all mushrooms, cacti, dead bushes, shrubs, and fern. I think. I think that's all of them. If I missed any, then sorry. Like, yeah. Um, so let's continue. Hello, sir. Um, my butler left, I guess. Shut that door. Um, next we have carpets. Um, it's all, you can make carpets from all the dyes in the game. Um, yeah, and the carpets are just there, so you don't have to use wool for the floor. And you can also stack the carpets to make, like, shelves and stuff. Hello, sis assistant. High five. High five, high five, high five. Um, next we have carrots. Carrots have been added to Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. It looks like they've been trampled on, though. And we here we have a golden carrot. And the golden carrot can heal, I don't know how many hearts, but yeah. Yay, golden carrot. And I think you craft it by putting a carrot in, uh, carrot with golden ingots around it. And speaking of golden fruit, let's talk about the enchanted golden apple. And now I know about this, that you have to get an apple on the crafting table with golden blocks around it. Yeah, golden blocks. This must be an overpowered apple, but yeah. So it's pretty expensive for how rare gold is and how worthless gold is. But yeah, moving on. Villagers trampling my crops. Well, they're actually your crops because this is your village, but whatever. So we got potatoes here, which can be cooked into baked potatoes. And you can also get poisoned potatoes. Poisonous potatoes, which you do not want to eat because you'll get poisoned, obviously. There is chiseled stone. Which are chiseled sandstone, sandstone. I can't. I always say sandstone for some reason, but here's a creeper face on. He has a creeper face on it and some random text. And I forgot what this one is called. Hold on. It is smooth sandstone. Yay! Another thing is that the creative inventory has been changed because there are more things. And if you want to make this thing go down, press the left. No right joystick to make it go down up and down up and down up and down uh... yeah and it's just got all this yeah and another thing that's been updated is potions you don't press the left trigger to change the potion anymore it's all here which i find kind of annoying change it back i want them to change it back Okay, so there's a new crafting recipe for books. I'm pretty sure it's this one, because this is the one on PC. If I'm wrong, then just tell me. Um, also, you can put, you can use wooden tools as uh, fuel now, and when you use lava, you'll get your bucket back. Then, we have trading in the game now. So, hello, sir. You would like a book, and... He'll give me what is called an emerald, which has also been added to the game. You can find emerald ore in the mountain biomes, and they only spawn in one. There's... Emeralds are only found... Yeah, they're only found in the mountain biome, but there you can only find one ore. They're not like diamonds where you can find like two or three, or like coal where it's just a million of them, but yeah. That, and then you can make a diamond block, or emerald block, emerald block, but the easiest way to get emeralds is to trade with villagers. Yeah, and then we got all the types of villagers now, the librarian, blacksmith, farmer, uh, butcher, I think, and the priest. Here's an emerald lovely priest. There you go. 
you guys get potions. Oops. Uh, ooh, that blacksmith had a diamond potion or diamond chest plate for 18 emeralds. Um, hello. Okay, so we're gonna go outside now. Leaves for leaf blocks and or the uh, rain will drip through leaf blocks now and it will fill up cauldrons. And now for boats. So lily pads breaking the boats, you break the boats, oh jeez, boats break the lily pads, and you get the lily pads when you break them, or sometimes I guess, but I did get a lily pad, so yeah, you break the lily pads instead of that breaking your boat, which is kind of stupid, the way it used to be, in here we have a chest. I am doing this on hard, I'm on hard mode right now because... What I think is on easy mode, there, well, there's a new mod called Zombie Villagers, and they're just zombie form of villagers, obviously, but um, on easy mode I tried this, and it didn't make a zombie villager, so I think on hard it's a 100% chance of making a zombie villager. Oh, I just spawned one right in, okay? <laughs> that works. So we got two zombie villagers, and when they want to get out of doors, they it shows the little crack things on the door now so it shows how much damage they have oh yeah I forgot and on hard mode they can break they are on the doors yep <laughs> uh, let me get this golden apple back cuz I think golden apples revive zombie villagers if I'm right I think it does maybe <laughs> oops uh, well I don't know if it does or not Apparently not, so yeah, let's just continue. Also, we have enchanted books. And you'll be using a new. Okay, you'll be using a new item in this to combine it with an. with a tool or something. What, what are you doing down your dogs? What the heck? Okay. Uh, dogs will now have, dogs, you can now dye dogs colors. Why are you, like, running around doggies? What the heck? Like, how do they fall? But, I got a green one right there, yellow, and purple. And then we, you can dye leather armor now. I have no idea how to dye it, though. It's not on the crafting table. Uh, then, uh, better get some torches, because it's going to get dark. And TNT and creeper explosions vary on what difficulty you're on. So get over here, dog. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you it in a second when I hit the creeper, when I punch it. Ooh, look, it's a house. Oh, no, I'm stuck. How do I get out? Ooh, a lever. Yeah, levers can be placed upside down now. So, yeah, that's more useful. And also the placement of these slabs and stairs have been changed finally because I've been so sick of the way it used to be where you had to place a block and then yeah it was stupid so now that I'm done with that I don't know how big the explosion is going to be let's just see and it's, yeah it's pretty big <laughs> okay so moving on we have slimes and Enderman, let's just slide it up. Slimes will now spawn less in the super flats. Ha ha ha! They're so they're so annoying in the super flats because I build a lot in this. Oh, I guess my dogs can go after it. And Enderman, they fixed it so that Enderman will open their jaws more now. Uh, oh, here we go. But yeah, they're supposed to open their jaws more. This one is not doing it. Uh, if I was in survival mode, I think he would like go ah if I was looking in his eyes. But yeah, we're just gonna have to get out of here. Okay, so gray wool in the city texture pack has been changed to look more like a road. Get out of my face, Enderman. Let's get a diamond sword. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, the texture for the roads on the city texture pack, or for gray wool on the city texture pack, is supposed to look more like a road. That's why I made a road, but I'm not switching to the city texture pack. And now there are 
trip wires and placeable string in this. The string is placeable because they're just, so it's used for trip wires. This is string right here. And creepers and other mobs will become neutral in creative mode now. So this guy, see, he just stopped noticing me. He's like, yeah. He's like, fudge you. But yeah, this is the one of the traps in the new buildings in this uh, place. So we have now we have anvils. Um, you can rename things like shiny blue leggings or stinky axe. Also, oops. Uh, hold on, let me just get rid of that. You can also um, combine enchanted books and weapons and armor and crap with it to, yeah, get the enchantments, basically. So yeah, that's how that works. We're going to take this block of emerald and put it in this ender chest. So ender chests have also been added, and if you don't know what an ender chest is, it is basically, and each, every ender chest you have, the items you place in it, will be in there. I don't know if there are double ender chests. I doubt there are, though. Let's see. Nope. Okay. But they can be placed next to each other, unlike normal chests. Yeah. So, every chest that the player has, um, whatever's in it, will be in every ender chest. Cool! Also, there are cobblestone walls and co mossy cobble walls. Uh, sorry, you just had something in my throat, whatever. So, they've added cobblestone walls and mossy cobble walls. Finally, we don't have to just use fences for everything. That was so annoying. But they need to add, like, a cobble fence gate, because... Because, just, that doesn't look right at all. So, we're going to go back down here. They have added new potions. I've already got the night vision potion on me. Uh, invisibility and night vision. So, this is what night vision does. It makes everything, it makes it look like daytime, basically. So, look, it's daytime. Not really. And for invisibility... Uh, I'll go in third person. Look, I'm floating armor and there's a floating potion. I can take my armor off and yeah, you'll be completely unnoticeable except for the particle effects. And then to get rid of it, milk is now drinkable in this. Oh, my dog is invisible too, but you can see his collar. But yeah, let's just throw my armor back on. Uh, I can't. I can't get the effect off him, but milk is now drinkable in creative mode to get rid of those annoying potion effects. Let's get rid of uh, Oops, I, I, I still want the bow. I want the night vision, though, because it's kind of dark. Okay, so, hello, Mr. Creeper. Just, well, yay, random explosions. <laughs> it, it just, it didn't explode anything I needed. They've added the wither painting in this. Yep, the wither painting. And also, this this was ice. It, it was ice, but there is a torch in here. Ice! Ice and glass panes are now breakable with silk touch, and you can, with silk touch tools, and you can re-get it. You can get it, basically. And when ice melts, it doesn't leave a trail of water, like this it's just like a water just a water source block just sitting there not doing anything but there's a weather painting but that does not mean that the wither is added to the game I built him but yeah wither is not in the game oh no oh no I wanted the wither in this okay um Wooden buttons and wooden pressure plates can be activated with arrows. Also, in the nether, er, mobs will spawn. Mobs will spawn through portals, like nether mobs. They'll come through portals, and my redstone contraption is broken. Screw you, redstone. <sighs> but zombie pigment can come through portals now into your the overworld. So, yeah. Also, we're gonna go to the nether for something. Get out of here, zombie pigman. Get out of here. K. 
Okay. So in the Okay, we are in the nether. I went the wrong way. They've a nether quartz, which is basically just this block. You can mine it and you will get this item, which can be crafted into this and then crafted into these and stairs and this crap. So yeah, we finally of course we don't have to use iron blocks for builds that are white. I wanna be invisible. I'm in I'm invisible. Yay. Also, so that's basically it for the nether. Nothing much. Um oh you still wanna kill me? You still wanna kill me? Just just fall down in this pit. Fall down in this pit. Yeah, just stay down there, okay? <laughs> also, in the end in the end, the sky color has changed. Let me fly up. Yeah, it looks kind of weird to me. Like the screen is frozen. But yeah. That's the color, and since I have the night vision, it makes this look a little bit weird. <laughs> Let's get milk. Okay, so the sky still looks the same, but yeah. I already killed the Ender Dragon here, I was just like bored so I'm like, let's kill it. But yeah, that is basically everything. No, not really. Um, this is a desert village if you haven't noticed already. They've added desert villages so it's not just a like, wooden village that can cobble it. It just fits the biome a little bit more. So yeah. Also, this way, the... They have added two new temples. As I'm flying through here, I'm going to show you the jungle temple. And yeah, basically the I don't I couldn't find the jungle temple in this world. I don't know how the spawning works in this for buildings and crap. But the jungle temple, uh, this is odd. Uh, random well. I always find these just villager wells just sitting there. Village wells, it's weird. But in jungle temples, yeah, look, here's, look, another one. Here's a desert village well and just nothing. Okay, so for jungle temples, I already showed you the picture of it and I already showed you a picture of desert temples too. It's the two are obviously, you can obviously tell which one is different from each other. So the jungle temple, the traps in it, um, if you enter it from the front, go to the left and just like start mining down, you'll find a chest and just with random crap. And then if you go down into the basement, there's a tripwire trap that shoots an arrow at you, but you can go grab the loot there. So yeah, that's basically the jungle temple uh, stuff. But here is a desert temple, it's just buried. It's buried in the ground, spawned in the ground. That's why I had to show you a picture of it. So here's what it looks like inside and crap. It's, it's just it just spawned very weird. Oh now it's raining. But yeah, so here's what it looks like down here. There is a trap and then chests are filled with random loot. So a diamond, emeralds, we got Iron ingots, gold ingots. You can get some very useful stuff down here. But look out for the traps. Yeah, look at all this gold. Sometimes you can find like loads and loads and loads of diamonds if you're very lucky. And basically the trap is loads of TNT. Yeah. So that's the trap. And that's basically the whole update. So I'm just going to go fly back to the village, fly back to the village, and going to end this video. So all the bug fixes are going to be up on the screen right now, hopefully if I can edit them in, which I'm pretty sure I can. Um, so yeah, all the bug fixes are on the screen right now. And so yeah, that is going to be the end of this video here, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Crobat. Stay cool, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!